morning this is kasturi day today i am going to again discuss the uh, electricity chapter according to icc syllabus class 8 so uh, in my last video i stopped with earthing of the appliances so i'll continue with that i'll start with that today uh, so what is earthing i told you earthing means that it's uh, that when the metal body or of an appliance is connected to a thick copper wire that that copper wire that is buried in the earth okay and its other end is connected to the copper plate which is surrounded by a mixture of charcoal and common salt okay so uh, why this earthening is earthing is requ required it is because it is uh, done so uh, because during uh, sometimes what happens due to breakage of the insulation of the wires that is we know that the wires are insulated okay and so when there there is a breakage of insulation of the wires the live wires come in contact with the body of the appliance okay and one gets a fatal shock which affects one's nervous system when the appliance is touched when we touch that that type of appliance whose insulation wire has broke is broken and the live wire is in connection with the metal body of the appliance then we can get a fatal shock which can affect our nervous system okay therefore to protect a person from an electric shock the appliance is earth and the current passes to the earth when an earthed appliance gets short circuited then the current from its metal body flows into the earth okay and this result uh, due to this what happens the uh, as the earth does not offer any resistance so the magnitude of the current in the circuit of a short circuited appliance suddenly rises to a very high value okay this rise overloads the circuit which melts the fuse okay as the earth does not produce any resistance when the uh, current uh, from the short circuited appliance passes to the earth okay so the earth will not provide any resistance so therefore the current in the uh, circuit uh, <clears throat> that will rise to a very high value and that overloading will melt the fuse of the appliance and due to the melting the short circuited appliance will Uh, the circuit will break okay and there will be no current flowing in that appliance in that circuit okay and therefore the appliance is protected from burning out and the person who touches that appliance will not get a electric shock okay next is see this is the picture this is uh, there's a washing machine picture uh, and uh, this is not grounded okay this is not earthed so So here, if there is any uh, breakage in the insulation wire, then the metal body of the machine will get the uh, uh, the current will flow into the inside in the uh, metal. Uh, I mean, in the metal body. Okay, and the person whoever will touch that the girl who is touching the uh, this uh, machine, the, the current will flow through her body to the earth. Okay, but if this machine is earthed. then the current will flow from the uh, uh, that means uh, it will flow directly to the earth and will not the person whoever will touch the machine will not get an electric shock okay therefore the earthing is required next is power rating of the appliance electric appliances are rated with power and voltage we know that uh, when we buy a bulb or anything there will there is the uh, power written and the voltage uh, uh, to which it it will be uh, uh, it requires how much voltage that is also mentioned see an electric bulb is rated 100 watt and 220 volt so that means if the bulb is lighted on a 220 volt supply it will consume 100 watt electrical power that is 100 joule of electrical energy is consumed by the bulb in 1 second or 100 joule of electrical energy is converted in the filament of the bulb into light and heat energy in 1 second okay so Uh, when we uh, buy a bulb, it is written no on the bulb that's hundred watt bulb, two twenty volt. So that means what? That uh, if you you connect that bulb to a two twenty volt supply, okay. 
then it will consume 100 watt electrical power or 100 joule of electrical winds, uh, energy will be consumed by the bulb in one second uh, to uh, change that electrical energy into light and heat energy okay so from power uh, from p is equal to vi that is power is equal to voltage into uh, 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 that means uh, uh, current okay so safety limit of the current of an appliance will be power of the appliance by voltage so example a bulb rated 100 watt and 220 volt that means safety limit of the current when it is lighted at 220 volt will be 0 0.45 amperes that is i is equal to pyv power by voltage so 100 by 220 that will be give us giving us to 0 0.45 ampere of current now household consumption of electric energy every home uses electricity uh, which has an electric meter and has an electric meter that will uh, give you how much uh, and give us that how much of electric energy has been consumed by us in a given period of time say one month okay so this meter is fixed at the main board just outside the house main board or just outside the house it is this meter is fixed that electric meter now this energy is sold in units of kilowatt hour so it will how is it calculated in kilowatt hour energy is equal to power into time so uh, power energy will be in kilowatt and so power will be in kilowatt into time will be in hour if we convert it into uh, watt that is from si to uh, i mean uh, larger unit to smaller unit that is power in uh, w uh, w that is watt and time in hour uh, that will be converted into uh, that is uh, that is that remains in hour okay so uh, the power uh, that is volt volt power that is equal to vi that is volt into that is voltage into one ampere i that is current i so vi into t by thousand okay so kilowatt is converted to watt that is divided by thousand so it will be uh, energy will be v into i into t by thousand so cost of electricity will be consumed by and the person will be energy that is in kilowatt into rate in rupees per kilowatt hour okay next is hazards or dangers of electricity when a number of electrical gadgets are connected in a circuit at the same time so an heavy amount of current flows into the circuit that is overload happier happens okay which may lead to short circuit or even fire electric fire okay so when there is uh, these are the dangers of electricity what happens when uh, uh, danger conditions of electricity what uh, how does it happen when there is a poor insulation of wires the live wire touches the neutral wire there can be short circuiting due to the flow of excess current this can damage electrical gadgets cause electric fire or wires catch fire okay one is overload another is poor insulation third is if a person can comes in contact with a live wire he gets an electric shot that can cause even death okay see this is second picture is of the live wire okay which is connected to the poles see and this is the first picture where there is overloading too much of uh, plugs are attached to one socket so that can lead to overloading okay then precautions to be taken while using electricity what are the precautions that should be taken during using electricity okay one should not touch switches with wet hands okay then connecting the wires to the plugs sockets and switches that should be in very tight okay tightly they should be joined tightly any loose connection can lead to fire then all the appliances should be properly earthed okay so that no one can get shocked should not try to repair any appliances when it is in use okay if you want to repair any appliance please switch it off and then it then you can repair it 
should not should be ensured that the mcb or the fuse and the switch are connected to the live wires okay otherwise you will not be uh, recognizing then uh, it can becomes overloading when it is becoming overloading and the circuit will not break then should have proper insulated wires wire should be properly insulated so that there is no short circuit then should not use ordinary copper wires as the fuse because the melting point of the ordinary copper uh, i mean uh, copper is 1080 degrees centigrade okay and uh, it, and it will not melt even if the current exceeds the safety limit because that is too much that is very high the melting point of ordinary copper wire is very high okay should switch off the gadgets and take out the plugs from the socket instead of using a remote okay should not put fingers or any metallic objects in the sockets okay you should not like many babies do generally child children they, they put their fingers or metallic objects in the socket that should not be done another thing the eighth point that is uh, generally uh, we do know when uh, we are seeing a television or something we just put a uh, put off the remote use the remote to switch it off but we should not do that and leave like that but we should just switch it switch it from the board okay switch it off from the board and uh, sometimes we can uh, take out the plug for safety then should not touch the switches on the main board which is the job of the electrician the switches of the main board that is the part of the electricians that they are authorized to do that uh, those jobs so you should you are not trained with those things so show you should not do such jobs then should not touch the metal part of an electric appliance with bare hands when they are working okay should always use a three pin plug for movable appliances moving apply movable appliances you should use three pin plugs the bigger pin in this plug has earthed earth connection okay it protects the user from receiving an electric shock should always stand at on a rubber mat or wooden board while ironing the clothes when you are ironing the clothes you should uh, always stand on a rubber mat or wooden board so that the uh, you can you will not get any shock should not touch electric poles with bare hands especially in the rainy season as sometimes the current may leak through them and can give you shock okay then conservation of electricity electric energy is generated by burning coal or natural gas we know that uh, the electricity is generated in thermal uh, electrical power stations uh, in, by burning coal or uh, natural gas or from water that is hydroelectricity so these generations cost uh, a huge expenditure and we know that coal and natural gas they are not uh, uh, easily available so we should preserve them we should conserve this electricity so that no, lots of coal and natural gas are not burnt out okay therefore electricity should be used when necessary at homes only those appliances should be switched on uh, uh, should be used which which are absolutely ne necessary in big halls only those power points should be used where people are sitting okay street lights should be put off during moonlit nights good quality wires should be used as poor ones waste lots of energy in other words we should conserve the electricity uh, we should not use any uh, i mean uh, we should not waste them okay so that our uh, cost there is a cost savings also and also the things which are uh, not easily available that can be preserved okay so uh, this is the end of the chapter and thank you for watching please do uh, comment like share uh, share with your friends and also do subscribe okay and uh, uh, you can also write comments uh, to suggest how to improve my videos and also whatever, whichever uh, doubts you have regarding this chapter or any other chapters, you, can, you, you are always welcome to write in the comment box, okay. And uh, also uh, do subscribe so that it can, uh, it can produce enthusiasm in me and I can produce you some more good videos for you which can help in your studies okay thank you for watching thank you